Okay, well, here we go. Um, apologies for the shoddy audio on this one, but um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video and I'm not going to be very close to the camera because this is quite a large box. So I'm kind of shouting at the tripod at the moment. <clears throat> so what we have here is my new subwoofer. Um, this is an Alto Professional TrueSonic TS2512S powered subwoofer. Uh, I'm hoping this will work well with my Mackies. Um, fingers crossed anyway. Uh, it's 1250 watts, 1250 watts. Uh, that's peak power. Uh, so I don't know if you can see on the side, it says 1250 watts. Uh, the actual RMS or the, the um, constant power this can provide is around 600 watts, uh, 625. So it's kind of, whenever you see a speaker that says it's 1250 watts, half that and that's its continuous power. It's like my Mackies. It says 1000 watts, but it's actually only 500 watts continuous. Um, so this is actually, I've got some gigs coming up uh, during the summer with more people than my Mackies can handle. Uh, so this hopefully will be able to double the cover with the bass and everything. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to unbox this. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually bought a, a subwoofer. I mean, obviously I bought my Mackies, so let's just get these off. The, uh, the box is quite large, I have to admit. I'm kind of worried it won't fit in my car. Um, but I'm hoping that the speaker inside is not as big as the box. I'm hoping there's sufficient padding inside to stop it from getting damaged in transit. So it will, yeah. Okay. So that's the box opened. Uh, and there's a bit of cardboard in the top, really heavy cardboard actually. I think it's got the, uh, I think it's got polystyrene attached to it. Yep, there we go. Holy crap. Oh. So there we go. Nicely packed polystyrene in the box. Get that out of the way. Holy shit on a stick. That is a lot bigger than I was expecting. When I ordered it, it said a 15 inch power subwoofer. I thought 15 inches is about that big. Not realizing that that's the size of the speaker diameter and the whole thing is a lot bigger. Um, it will fit in the car. <laughs> Whether I'll be able to fit other equipment in with it is another, I mean, cool. those handles are cold. Ugh. Ugh. Right, in the box, there's a power cable and manuals, and that's it. Nothing else in this box, just another one of those things that we had on the top is now on the bottom. Right, let's put that out of the way. Clear some space out. Right. So, power cable, standard stuff. Warranty and safety instructions, standard stuff. Now this is the bad boy that we want to see. I just have to make sure that you can see that in the camera. Yes, you can. Right, this is the Alto TrueSonic TS215S. And that is, my friend, a serious looking speaker. I'm tearing up all the plastic here, trying to get it off because it's really, tricky to do. There we go, look at that. That is a serious bass speaker. There we go. There we go. Actually, the, the finish is quite nice. Really thick board there. The handles are, they feel like steel and let me just it's quite quite a hefty thing, quite heavy. Hole in the top for a speaker pole, but I don't think I'm gonna be using a speaker pole with this because I've only got one. So this is gonna go under the DJ table or the uh, DJ booth and just bang the bass out the back. Let's have a look at the back of the speaker. There we go, we've got, I don't know if you can see. Uh, so we've got an on off switch, AC input, two inputs uh, and two outputs, so obviously we're going to put the inputs here from the mixer. The outputs are going to go through to the two Mackies, and this is going to pick up all the bass. So we've got options here. We've got polarity reverse. We've got output full range, so we can output all the bass to the speakers as well. And we've got extended low frequency, signal limit, volume. Uh, so I normally set that in zero. I try not to turn the speakers up too much because I don't want to blow them. So I normally set the volume to zero. Um, and then have the 
uh, mixer. With powered speakers, I, I find that's the best way to do it. Um, if they do want a little bit more, then I might just slightly tweak it up. Uh, this thing consumes 450 watts um, <laughs> of power. So it is quite an electric sucker. And the front, let's have a look at the front. You can see here, I like this wedge shape actually. It looks like it means business. Ugh. The front there, solid metal grill to protect it from bumps and scrapes. Looking at that pattern too long will make your head go a little bit funny. So yeah, 15 inch powered subwoofer. Um, let's hook it up and see what we got. Okay, so it's on and it's switched on. Now I haven't hooked up any of the tops to this. Um, I've, got, I've got one of my Mackies set up but I haven't rigged it up. Um, so I won't be going through there. However, this thing, um, in my house or in the place where I live, I don't think I will be able to have this switched on. Uh, <laughs> I just put a little bit of power into it and my windows are vibrating. Um, so yeah, I don't think I can run this at the maximum volume it's supposed to be. When I'm at a gig, I think this will be absolutely fine. But let me just, for example, play, um, I've got some 90s Guilty's Pleasures here. Um, I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred. Let's hit that up. And um, there's nothing coming up because I have got the volume turned right down low. Now, if I play with the gain on my mixer just to make sure that it's at a level that I would play it at in a gig. There we go. Uh, and also put my main up to the level I would. Right. Now, I'm just going to start increasing the fader here on my S8. There we go. And that's where I'm going to have to kind of lower it down because I just heard the pictures on the wall vibrate at that point. Um, you might not be able to get it because I don't think this microphone can pick up low frequency very well. But this has got some power to it. Yep. So I'm looking forward to using this one at the next gig. Now, the the... Using this at my next gig, there's not going to be 200 people there. There's only going to be at most 70, 80 people. So it's going to be overkill, but I want to have a proper bang of it and see how it goes. So this will be uh, interesting to see what it's like at a smaller gig, um, although I probably won't need it. Um, but for definitely the, the gigs coming up in the summer, I will need this 12, <laughs> 1250 power. Oh, I'm so excited to be able to use this and blow people's knees off. <laughs> so it's going to be good. But uh, yeah, so that's the Alto Professional um, bass bin that I've just picked up uh, to augment my speakers. Uh, it looks lovely. It feels really solid. Um, the, the bass coming out of it, I can't turn up until I go to a gig. So I'll let you know more about that after I've done a gig. Um, but yeah, that's the unboxing of that. It's Luckily, it's not as big as the box, um, which is good. Uh, hopefully it will still fit in my car. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm not going to push you to do anything because let's face it, these videos are going to be demonetized anyway. Um, but thank you for watching. Until the next time, to the next video. Catch you later. Bye bye. Okay, so this Alto Professional bass bin is very loud. Um, it's got some great bass on it. It shakes the floor. Um, especially on uh, maximum volume. Definitely <laughs> worth the money. Um, yeah, I think everything I bought, I'm really happy with. Um, this is no exception. It's quite big. It's difficult to get into my little car, so I do have a, a bigger car uh, coming, but it was worth it. It's worth it. I'm, I'm sure this will last me for a long time to come. It's very sturdy, and it's got a good, good amount of bass to it. But yeah, definitely worthwhile getting. So thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, until the next video, catch you later. Bye-bye.